Welcome, badminton fans, to a brand new season of the HSBC BWF World Tour. 2024 season kicking off right here for Malaysian fans in Kuala Lumpur. It is the Malaysian Open, the Axiata Arena, the 67th edition. It's one of the four Super 1000 events. It's great to kick off the season with such a high profile event and in attendance as it is at all the events of the tour. Is what it's all about, the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals Trophy, brought on by one of our VIPs today, Mr. Liu Wan Sui, also member from the Badminton Association of Malaysia. That's what it's all about for the best pairs in men's singles, women's singles, men's and women's doubles, and mixed doubles. But of course, you have to qualify for that event. And Including Victor Axelson, don't miss any of them today. So looking at the women's singles draw, and as we approach the quarterfinals, it'll be kicking off tomorrow, all the usual suspects. This is uh, section one, around two matches, and the winner of this match we're about to watch might just face Ansa Young in the quarterfinals, but you never know what Yvonne Lee could do. Kana Yamaguchi and Kirsty Gilmore are creating a nice rivalry. The winner of that will play Zhang Yiman or Su Wenqi. So the technical officials and the players making their way out on the three courts. Still in action. It's been a good flow of uh, home fans coming in. I can already see a few. It's very early in the morning, but for Malaysian time. But they're already coming in. Charles Wang, as Taipei. our first two players make it to court one. Of course, every day produces incredible results at any Super 1000 event, any event of this level. And yesterday, of course, more heartbreak actually for the Malaysian fans as Ng Si Yong. In fact, the Malaysian men's singles campaign has drawn to an end and Si Yong pulled up with a back injury in his first round match. So of course they've still got some hope in the doubles. You send Yi and Aaron Chan so Yi. This match is going to be an absolute cracker. I think both these players very competent, very capable. Anyway, as you can see, leading 4-1. Last time they met was at the China Masters in 2023. Red is the call. Empire. It is black. Part with the point toss. Server received. Judge. Sir? Well, very respected referees and umpires. But they have met, as I said, at a final, and that was in 2018 at the Vietnam Open. It was actually Yao Jiamin that came away with the title on that occasion. And also, they met at the All England last year in the first round, and that was a win for Anyway, simply because, as I said, she has really um, picked up her game. Solid top 10 player now, made it to the World Tour Finals as well. Ended up third in Group B, 24-year-old Han Yue Fujian. A lot being made right now, of course, about the Paris Olympic qualification period. 
uh, herself, top 10, and uh, Hebing Zhao, of course, also in the top 10. Great friends of on court and off court. But she clearly made a statement today, or this week, Kanye, anyway, saying that she's just looking for the experience of qualifying. That was her first round results. Putri Kusuma Wadani, solid result there. 21 11, 21 13, 30 minutes. Comprehensive workout. But as I said, she's got a very practical outlook on life and badminton. And it's all about, in fact, one of her big goals was to possibly play Ansa Young in this Malaysia Open. And if she wins this match, she's going to get that chance or a chance of it. Because as I said, we don't know what Yvonne Lee is going to do in her match. And her opponent, Yao Jamin, 24 years old from Singapore. A fun fact about her, she was actually, technically, um, Malaysian. Because <laughs> a bit like Lo Kian Yu, parents, Malaysian Chinese, moved from Malaysia to Singapore. Uh, and then, of course, she was born in Singapore. So she is a Singaporean citizen, but has got some ties back to Malaysia. Michelle Lee, her first round opponent. Of course, Michelle coming back from big injury in August. And it was a comprehensive run out for her. So both ladies have not dropped a game yet. Last year, Han Yue made it to the second round. Yao Jamin, it was first round exit. Kevin Ban, as I said, one of our very experienced umpires in the chair for this first match. Play. Joined by our service judge, Charles Wang from Chinese Taipei. So the world number eight against the world number 22. Yao Jamin didn't win a title last year, uh, but did have a slew of quarterfinal appearances. Japan Masters, Australia, Thailand Open. And the Orleo Masters as well. So about ready to get underway here. Showing the players be introduced in just a second. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right. Han Yue, China. And on my left, Yao Jamin, Singapore. Yao Jamin to serve, love all, play. Yao so Jamin gets us underway. And immediately you can just see from that pattern of play, Love. both players very capable on court. This could be a great exhibition of badminton. Just too far behind her. Two. Love. Love. main drift behind her right now. Himself and Steen Pedersen Three. the conclusion. Love. And of course, Steen has been talking to a lot of the players over the last couple of days. There's that main drift that's playing from the top of your screen down, but also a little bit of sideways in the corners. And a little bit down in this bottom back line as well. Four oh, this is a fantastic start from the Singaporean. It's been in control. Smart play from not really Four. giving Please anything away for Hanyue to finish off.
Mixed Double, Zheng Zi Wei, Wang Yang Wei, China. Versus Rehan Lofa, Aggressive move forward by Jamin. Janito. Defended well by Han Yuan now. Indonesia. To the Empire end of the point. Chaturanga Viswana. Setlanka. Service judge. Jess Chaturanga. That was a good slice of drop shot from three, Han. Four. Again, of course, Yan Jamin, Commonwealth Games bronze medalist in 22. Three, two. He's actually the first player as well to represent Singapore in the season finals. A couple of years back. Seven so silver, four, five. Beautiful winner, just dropped into front court by Han Yuen, and now just one point back. Slow start. Over three, she seems four. to be settling into that rhythm. Solid read at the back line. It's been an issue for a couple of players over the last couple of days. Misreads. There's another one, so Seven, now beginning to exert a lot more force. Anyway. Anyway. on the line, what a block. Service over, nine, six. Showing some of the form that, back to the Arctic Open title near the end of the year, but it was a really good run actually for the second half of the season. And we picked herself up, and as you can imagine, being a Chinese women's singles shuttler, a lot of competition. Service over, That's seven, nine. Division. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, Chen Yufei oh, has disputed the top of it, and a surefire guarantee for the Paris Olympics. It's really that second spot, and up for grabs, and it's with their rankings, Yubing Zhao, and the two front runners. It's a good kill. Paris qualification running up to April 28th. You have to be in the top 16. Seven. 35 quota places available, one host country place, and two universality places available. But it does get pretty technical, mainly to be in the top 16 and be winning on April 28th. One low. Nice. Well, 
shot in. Sammy Sobre, one all. So back on court for the second phase of game one. And Honeyway settling into a nice rhythm here, but we have seen some play. nice responses from the Singaporean Yao Jamin. It's a nice return. Exactly what I was talking about. Nine, Just the right 11. intensity of shot at the front. Eight, it dipped three, viciously. Three, That's good aggression. 10, 11. Straight forward. You've got to time those runs just right. Service over. Three. Three. Not an easy shot at all. Incidence of error very high at that speed. Service over. Four. Three. The drifty corner. 11 all. A couple of points from Yao Jamin. Was in control of that. What a shot that was. Tries it again. Fantastic. <laughs> Ambitious. Service over. Southern. Well, it's a great eight, rally. 11. On. But look at the anticipation from Han on that. 27 shots, longest rally so far. Push that. Too long. 13. But again, just 11. look at the position that she's had. Right place, right time, just the wrong shot. Right, she could have gone left or right. <laughs> 14, 11. So often is the case that you have a higher ranked player that's just a little bit more compact, a little bit tighter in the game, and then those unforced errors start really shining when they turn up. Right now, Jamin's unforced error rate a little bit higher. Service over. But that's not to say, of course, that Hanyue has been 14. flawless in any way. Service over. Service over. Five. Beautifully dropped into. Fifteen. Well. Side. Seven, 
Trevor Stoker, 13, 15. Still close enough. Good, solid couple of attacks for Yao Jamin, and she could edge ahead. Thank you. Thank you. So not ready. Or oh, receiver not ready. Fifteen all. Great place to place that shuttle. 11, five, shot. That was a good point. Cool. Drive by Charmin. Picked five. up nicely. Again, read well by Anyway. He's finding a lot of space, and that's all from that anticipation. Just knew exactly where she needed 17, to be for that next shot. 15. And then just take, kills the power, takes it all off. Just these little blocks have been working so well. 17-15, looking very strong. Eleven, five, play. with a combination of the solidity of Han Yue and just a few more errors from Ya Jamin. Very good shout to say that this first game is going to be going the way of the Chinese player. Sober, sober, Might have to retract 16, that based on 18. the quality of that straight smash. 19, she was going to be able to do about that, even if she did pick it up. 19, 16. And forces the error. 20, well, Difficult take for German. Four game points. Three wonderful shots by game. Right there, and that's enough. 21 16. First game, 16 minutes. 21 16. Looking good. Service over. Eight. Twelve. Nine. Twelve. 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 Twelve.
的前后，这样搓完以后，就是他头顶怎么样，他跑不过来。但是他这个你搓完他推你，他只拿不到你的球。Court one, twenty seconds. Court one, twenty seconds. So I'm back on court for game two. On your way out first. Second game. Love all. Play. Service over. One love. Over. Forty. Seventy. Love. Good start for German. So hitting into that main drift now. Take the points and should be able to open up a bit more. Three. Love. A little bit more venom. Uh, probably safe to still keep it a mid-court base game. Service over. One. Three. what she was going to do. Two, three. Just coiled up and ready to go. Interesting. That may have been a bit of sideways drift that blew that back in, but Anyway convinced that she could leave that. Thank you. Players back on the board. Really twist the body. Three, four. That shoulder right in there. Twenty, you just see this great twist of the body. Thank you. Service over. Five, three. 
this one right here. That's the kind of margin of error. Just a couple of centimeters if you're going to beat the best. Well, she's getting a lot of reward off that left side. Three. Especially in the front court. We're just having to stretch that extra step. Service over, 4-7. Oh, I think she knows the great opportunity there. Missed just a little bit loose on that shot. Example of that tiny bit of reverse. Drift is coming the other way. There's the main drift from top to bottom. And there's that little bit extra that might have just pulled that in. Six, seven. And oh. we're right back in it, the second game. Control to keep that in. And again, your jamming challenges fall in. Well, I actually thought well, there probably would have been a challenge on some of the earlier shots. This one looks in. Absolutely on the money. One challenge remaining. Nine seven. Play. Left. 18, 1, 17. Service over. 8, 9. Oh, great return, Bob. Service over. Absolutely in full oh. extension and flow there. Service over. 10, 8. Some fantastic shots oh. in that, Riley. The first 
that shot to win back the advantage and then after that it was just relentless a solid kill at the end 10-8 approaching the second mid-game interval Again, just you could just see it coiling up before she knew exactly what she was going to do and she's 11-8 up on deck for Yao Jamin. Second phase, game two. Anyway, still with this great grip on this match. Finding a lot of points down at the back line as well. through oh, great return Absolutely in full control. Great. Even had to reset herself in the middle of that rally for one of the drop shots that hit the net court. Still managed to have so much control on the shuttle. And she just kills the speed, drops it to the front court. We've seen that happen a good few times in this first match. 14 8. Thank you. No significant problems so far. Anyway. Oh, that's wonderful. Service over. 9-14. Second game. Lobo. Play. She's upset with herself that she kind of stopped moving for a second. That was enough. So it's over. One low. Oh, that's a great return. Ten, fourteen. It's not beyond the realms of possibility for Jam into stage a comeback here. I just feel that for every odd mistake that Hanyue is making, she's also creating some great opportunities and exerting some really solid control. And I think that's going to come through in the end. Another great shot by Jam in. Pulls it back to 11, three behind. 14. Service over. Two, one. Oh, 
half. This has been a good run of points. Well, jump in. 14. That front to mid court transition line, that's pretty much where she's been scoring big. And anyway, getting a little bit frustrated that she's not covering that area. This time she wins at the net. 15, 12, 3. Oh, nicely picked up. Not that time though. Sent left, then sent right, but with deadly accuracy. 13, 15. Well, I said it was beyond. It wasn't beyond the realms of possibility, but now it's. A lot more likely. Two points back, and Yao jump in on a great run. Still time to rescue the second game. And anyway, just looking at these last few points, she may have taken finger off the trigger a little bit. She's now paying the price. Over. And that's just an indicator 14, of how that she is a little bit in her own head right now. Anyway, she's got to just keep her focus. If not, at two points behind, it's a great chance for Jamin. That's in. 15, no contest coming. 16. Important point. Six, five. Went for the left right combination. This time, on your way up for it. Over. Great rally. That's how you do it. She's tied it up. 16 all. Well, I did say it. Anyway, he's got to watch herself now. It's going to be a lot of psychological pressure if she loses the second game. To be so far ahead. 13-8, remember, she was up. On court. Service over. Seven, eight. Yep, on court. Good final burst needed from... World number eight. Eight, on. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 16, all. Play. Nine, eight. Had to work. Eleven, seven, seventeen, sixteen. Didn't. Seven, seven, Pushed nine, it too long. Five. Open court. Did all the setup perfectly.
service over. Ten, nine. For two stakes of one. Mistake there and now <laughs> things getting dicey. Six it looked eight. pretty much that she was going to seal this up in straight games, but now a great run from Yao Jamin. She's in a fantastic position to snatch this second. Let's put that out as well. It has. So can't seem to find the line anymore. Thank you. It's been quite a collapse as well. Service over, 11, 10, interval. And that is unbelievable. Just three points. points. 16. One for Han Yue. And 11 for Yao Jamin, who's got four game points. Service over, 17 20. Part three. 20 seconds for three, 20 seconds, and 12. Lisa, back on the court. And that's in. 18, 20. Left it. I think she's 11, left it too late. 10, play. That little lapse in concentration has cost her dearly, and I think. Five. Make no mistakes from now on if she wants to take this to extra points. Great response by Jamin. That was close. That uh, net court could have gone either way. That's what I mean. There was a solidity beforehand where she didn't need that. Rejection on her face. As Jamin takes the second, takes it to a third. One twenty seconds for one twenty seconds. 
Thank you. So back on court for the deciding game. This opening match here on court one, day three. And Honeyway looking a little bit dejected, as you can imagine, because Final game. was 13-8 up in that second game Double. and lost it. Play. And it wasn't a question of service over amazing one. increase in play by Yao Jamichi. Starla playing, was playing with a drift behind her, of course, but still just couldn't find the line anyway. And now has to play out this third and deciding game. Just for a spot service in the quarterfinals over. against either Ansa Young one. Oh. or Yvonne Lee. As you can see, the body language completely different now for Hanway. It's a little bit more like the way that we saw in the first game. And to be honest, the first half of the second game. But still a lot of work to be done. sagging a little bit has to get over that psychological hurdle of having to play a third it looked like she was cruising in the second completely different complexion to this match as you can see there five three Seventeen. A couple of mistakes Five. coming in oh. on the outside as well. I said earlier at the first Five. game how important it is. Keep that unforced error stat in check. Eighteen, 
Point. Point. Thank you. That's quite the amazing point because if she'd left that, she would have got it anyway. Well, for a number of different reasons, this third deciding game looks like it's going to be tightly contested. Which I'm in a little bit in the ascendancy now. And we're definitely still trying to get over that psychological hurdle of the collapse of the second part of game two. Bad. She's got to stop this what now. mid-game interval. Uh, Honeyway in an entirely different situation now. That's better. A little Service bit more over. clinical. 7-10. Very easy. Really pulled Honeyway out of position. Smart play. And she gets the lead at the interval, 11-7. Turned around Honeyway there. She's never going to be able to make that delicate drop. Just a little push over. Eleven, seven, play. Well, this is it. 51 minutes on court. The conclusion of this fascinating second round match. Women singles. Twelve, seven. Jamin has fought her way back. And whatever happened at the second part of game two, whether it was in fact a collapse, a mini collapse Service from Hanyue, gifted her a few points. 12. Regardless of what that reason was, she's really set herself up nicely. Now Chao Min in this third, and has fantastic chance now, not just for the game, Thank you. but of course 
for the match. Pushing forward. It was a little bit aggressive in the first game. But I think once she realized that she had an opportunity in the second, now she's beginning to push forward a little more. And a bit more sting into her shots, playing into the win now as well. Service over. 9 13. Tempo a little jam in. Oh, left that too high and she knows it. Ten thirteen. On court two, wasn't single. Please welcome the technical officials. Deception there by right. Read nicely by Jarmin. Oh, that's a good shot. Keeping it safe. Oh. That was well read. So it shifts 13. the other way now. This is Jen Taylor. Now just one point in it. On top three, women's level, please welcome the technical officials. Service over, 14-12. And that's worked. So finding a range once more. 13, 14. Zuraidi, Malaysia. Jacob Sandberg, Denmark. Smart play. Well anticipated by Anyway. Seems to have got over that little mistake there. So she still 16, just can't break into 13. two point, three point leads.
Chow Main getting closer now. Court where this match has been won. 13. Or is being won, I should say, by Xiaomin. Now that she's got a chance. 17 13. That's how quickly things can change. Jump in. She knows that was a key point. Four points ahead. Three points needed. And this will go down as an upset. Wall number 22 taking out wall number eight. If, of course, she can convert these three points. And there's a mistake that's opened it up again. Anyway, but still a 15, lot of work. 18. Needs to be done. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Chen Yufei, China. Edging closer. See the effect of mistakes now coming in. Both Seven sides of the net, but only right. really definitely will be feeling it a bit more. So she's in dire straits now. Has to make this serve work. Now she got that point, but it was, as you saw, a little bit more ragged than what we've seen from her in this match previously. that are now Love. pretty good force here at the Axiata Arena. This one is taking it to a nail biter. It's high. Oh, she's pushed it wrong. Wide. Force to her knees because she knows. These match points have essentially been given. Wide open court. So, two match points for Jamin. That's one saved. And it all comes down to this. this the way this match has turned on its head back and forth and it comes down to this point it's not over yet 
What a comeback. I mean, of course, you can praise the comeback, but really, did she need it? She done this at the end of the second game. Still, first to two, first to 30. Power back in her hands. There's <laughs> Brett, no challenge. And it's a third match point for Yo Jamin. That's frustration right there. Oh, she's done it. What a match. She can't believe it. Anyway, a victim of her own lapses in focus. And that's just a lesson in how those little tiny lapses of focus, and it was just in the second part of the second game, when things started to go wrong. And well capitalized on by. Match won by Yeo Jamin. Jamin. 64 minutes. 22, 20. And she's made it to her first quarter final of the year in her first tournament of the year. And has beaten high ranked opposition. That's all you can ask for in a division as tough as this. And there it is 16 21, 21 19, 22 20. And Yao Jamin, the famous victory, makes it through to the quarterfinals. back at the Malaysia Open 2024 as you can see lots of fans in attendance not just to see their badminton heroes but also to take part in some of the great activities that